Oh, and he's from Locale at De Bortley, cooking on the banks of the river today here in the King Valley at De Bortley Vineyard. Today we're going to do some Millua Free Range Duck with some bit of green, some comfy leg and some Black Noble Glaze. Pretty big one this one. We like to use the bigger ones in the restaurant just to we get a bit more off them, to break them down. Just trim off the wing pieces, it just makes it a little bit easier, a little less bulky. Feel along the backbone there, there'll be a ridge across the top. Just run your knife on the side of that. Peel away the, the meat. And get up to the leg, just sort of just follow the bone around. Get to the leg piece here, just fold that out. Once you've done that, you'll end up with your two pieces here. Uh, your leg piece, your breast piece, we'll separate those off. We'll trim up our legs, turn them over. You can see that the fat runs between. Now to trim up your duck breast, just run that little fillet off, take off the bone. Trim off all that excess fat. When it comes to leg, we trim off this excess fat just around the top, top of the leg. That's what we're looking for there. Cooking the duck breast, uh, we always score it. It lets it crisp up a little bit more. It helps a lot of the fat render down. Um, just gives it a nice texture on top as well. I find if I was in the kitchen, I'd probably put these in the fridge for a good half an hour or so to reset the fat. You find when it's quite soft, it's quite hard to score. You'll need a really sharp knife. Um, or you can always put them in the freezer for half an hour or so. You don't want to freeze the meat. I'm really trying to avoid freezing the meat, but it's just enough to make the fat on the top really set nice and firm. It makes it a lot easier for you to score the, score the top. Nice slices. You don't want to go through and start cutting the meat. Um, you just want to cut through enough to uh, just trim through that layer of fat. Just cut it back across so you just get a nice crisscross pattern. That's our duck breast. With the duck legs, we've trimmed them all up. They're all ready to comfy, apart from the bone on the top. If you do wish to chop it off, just with a cleaver or a, an older knife, um, with a, use the very end of your knife, the heel, and just trim that off. That's it for the duck legs. I'll show you how to comfy those a little bit later on in the chef's tips. Bit of salt both sides into a cold pan and just on as low as you can get it to go. While that's cooking, I'll start on the greens to go with it. Chicory here, that it's a bit of a bitter green. Just trim those big stalks off. Red onion. Cut it into some nice wedges. Just like that. Keep a little bit of the stalk on, it'll hold together when we cook it up. Some nice finely sliced garlic. We've got our greens, garlic, onion, and I've also got a little bit of uh, guanciale here, which is a, a cured pork cheek or jowl. And if you can't find any of this, you can always substitute it for some pancetta or some bacon or even some prosciutto, it would work fine. These are some duck legs I've already confied earlier on. In a pan, with a bit of oil and a bit of greaseproof paper. Greaseproof paper will just stop the leg from sticking to the bottom of the pan. You want to get it nice and crispy, nice golden crispy skin. Put it in the pan for a couple of minutes to get it started and then ideally stick it in the oven, 180, 200 degrees, just for maybe six minutes, uh, just to get the heat to come through the leg. It's already cooked, so all you're really trying to do is just warm it up and crisp it up, up a little bit. Obviously, don't have any oven out here, so I've just got it warming it through in a fry pan. That's kind of what you're after, just a nice crispy golden skin. The duck breast, it's getting to the point now where it's become quite crunchy, golden, and a lot of that fat's all rendered away. Just want to take it out. It's really important just to let it sit for a little while. Okay, so nice hot pan. With the onion, you don't want to cook it down too much. We just want it to be still a bit firm, have a bit of texture to it, and have, but be nice and sweet. When we're getting a little bit of color on our onion, but Charlie's starting to crisp up a little bit. I'll add in some garlic. Try not to brown your garlic. It'll start to change the flavor. It'll 
get a little bit bitter. Just want to keep it nice and fresh. Off the heat, mix those through. That's enough to wilt them down. That's all we're really looking for. I haven't added any salt into this. Um, just from the, the bacon, it'll already be quite salty. And the comfy duck leg is a little bit salty as well. So um, you'll find you won't need to add any, any salt into your garnish. Stock here that I made earlier with some, some of the duck bones. Just roasted them off, um, added a little bit of beef stock to it, uh, just to make a nice sort of duck sauce. And I've also got in here a little bit of Black Noble that I've reduced down with some sugar to make a nice caramelly rich sauce. It helps cut through that bitterness of the greens and it just goes really well with the richness of the duck breast and the duck leg. Okay, so to match with the duck, I've got this beautiful Ballariva King Valley Sangiovese Merlot, grown or produced from grapes grown just over there. So I think it'll all go great together. Who says you need to rough it when you're having lunch by the river? Cheers.